Hey folks, how do you do? In this video, I'm going to talk about a straightforward, but very profound concept in physics. By now you should have some idea of what centre of mass means. Some people call it the centre of gravity. For our purposes, these are the same thing. Here's how it is. For any rigid object, you can find a point at which the object's mass appears to be concentrated. In other words, you can treat the object as if all its mass is in one place. That point is the center of mass. We can also say that this is the exact point where the object's weight force or gravitational force acts. For example, a chocolate biscuit can be looked at as a disc with the center of mass at its geometric center. In reality, the bumps on its surface could shift the center very slightly, so it's not a perfect disc, but hey, chocolate. Now, you may have some experience with projectile motion. A projectile is anything that moves under the influence of only gravity, and it makes a parabolic path. Here, yeah, the path of this object is shown in blue. Because of the object's shape and structure, its centre of mass is offset and is close to the heavier end. It is the centre of mass that stays in that parabolic path, even as everything else spins around it. This is fantastic, because it means, for any projectile, no matter how crazy its motion may be, it will still follow a parabola in this way. How do you find the centre of mass of an irregular thing like a boomerang or a banana or a piece of rock? The classic way is to hang it from the ceiling first. The centre of mass will always shift so that it hangs directly under the point of suspension. Then you draw a straight vertical line. This friendly shark is showing you how it's done. From there, you rotate the object by hanging it at a different point. Draw another line down, then repeat as many times as you want. All your lines will cross at the location of the centre of mass. For this shark, it's toward its big head. What's really cool is that you can have objects with a centre of mass outside their volume. They behave like all their mass is concentrated where there is no stuff. Consider a donut like this one. It has a centre of mass in the middle of that hole, where there is no donut. But why not? After all, they say a donut is nothing without its hole. Now let's look at systems with two objects or bodies. It turns out that for any two bodies, you can find a common centre of mass that sits on a line between them. It is said that our home planet orbits around the Sun. Technically, that isn't true. The Earth and the Sun have a common centre of mass and they both orbit around it. This raises an obvious question. Where is that centre of mass? Say we have two spheres some distance apart. The right sphere is much heavier than the left one, by which I mean it has more mass. Would you expect the common centre of mass to be halfway between them, or would it be offset to one side? Well, it's closer to the right sphere, and that makes sense. The centre of mass is the one point that all the mass in the system is concentrated around, so it's logical for it to be close to the more massive sphere. In fact, the ratio of masses is just the inverse of the distances. If you like fractions, this should be quite intuitive. If you don't like fractions, good news! There is a formula you can use. Now, don't be put off, this formula isn't as scary as it may look. What you do is choose one of the bodies in a two-body system. X, C, O, M is the distance from that body out to the centre of mass. M1 and M2 are the masses, and X2 is the distance between the two bodies. So let's say we want to know where the centre of mass of the Earth and Sun system is, and we take distances from the Sun. X1 in the formula is the distance to the Sun from the Sun. It is zero. That simplifies the formula a bit. So now we just need the masses of the Earth and Sun and the distance between them, which happens to be 150 million kilometres. What you find is that, because the Sun's mass is so astronomically large, the centre of mass is very close to the centre of the Sun. Therefore, it's not far off to say we orbit the Sun. That's all for now. Thank you for your attention.